Now let's study about the uses of air. Now what, how the air is used. Now what are the uses of air? Number one, the major uses air supports life. Right? We as a human being, we as a living organism, breathe in oxygen. Right? Oxygen is necessary to get energy from food. Since living things need energy all the time for various life processes, they need to breathe in oxygen all the time. So the process of breathing in getting energy from food and breathing out is called respiration so we, we inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide so living things on land breathe in oxygen the air you breathe in through your nose goes into your lungs right now plants plants intake carbon dioxide so again it is a component that is present in the air plants need carbon dioxide to prepare their food through these plants have small openings called stomata plants have small openings called stomata through which air is taken in air is taken in so human beings have lungs to take in oxygen plants and trees have stomata to, uh, to breathe carbon dioxide, intake carbon dioxide for the preparation of food. Whereas if I talk about fish, they have gills to breathe in, to uh, breathe the oxygen. Now oxygen gets dissolved in water. We have seen that oxygen is dissolved in uh, water uh, with the activity that you take a pan and heat the water you will see that the presence of air in the water so the air is dissolved in the water so what uh, fish do they consume the oxygen that is present in the water similarly there are some uh, you know gases or the air that is uh, inside the soil so your plants take the gases or the air from the soil now if I take, uh, talk about nitrogen, see nitrogen is also required by plants for the growth. Now plant cannot absorb uh, nitrogen directly from the air. Now due to which, why do we say the rain is necessary? Because the nitrogen gets dissolved in the rain and the, through the lightning they come to the earth's surface, the soil absorbs it and soil changes it to nitrate compounds which is absorbed by the Plant. So nitrogen in the air is used by us to manufacture fertilizers. How do we get fertilizers? So we make it uh, the use of nitrogen that is present in the air and we make the fertilizers so that the soil can get the nitrate and they can help the plant to grow. Second is air can be used to generate electricity through windmills now the wind make windmills rotate and the windmills are used to draw water from tube wells and run floor mills it is now being widely used to generate electricity 
third is your aeroplanes parachutes balloons all work due to air to air in the atmosphere fourth is birds insects and bats are able to fly just because of air air helps in the dispersal of seeds air helps in the pollination of several flowers like your sunflower pollination of several flowers see how do uh, you know flowers uh, gets on the plant see one bud is drawn and then you have a small small particles in the you know uh, flower that goes that uh, due to wind they are separated from the flower and it this helps in the pollination of the flower now air plays an important role in the water cycle important role in water cycle you see the steam gets uh, the if you evaporate the water the evaporation the water vapors get dissolved in the air then only it forms the cloud so air plays a major role in the water cycle I hope you have understood this. Do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.